Hi. How you doing? You guys having a good night? My day started off kind of rough. Got into an argument with a cop. It was really one of those you say potato, I say potato kind of arguments, only in my case it was I said supplementing my income and he said possession with intent to distribute. <laughs> so we're just going to see what side the judge lands on that one. Uh, well, my name is Bob Gaudet. I will tell you a little bit about myself. I quit drinking and I quit smoking. Uh, not necessarily because I wanted to live longer. It was, uh, it was more... Uh, I quit drinking because uh, it turns out I'm allergic to alcohol. I uh, break out in handcuffs. <laughs> and because I got tired of conversations like, What do you mean I'm shut off? you have any idea who I am? No, as a matter of fact, I don't either. But I asked you first. And I quit smoking because I got volunteered to help out with my daughter's kindergarten gym class. And I was okay with that, right up until I walked in and the teacher said, Today, boys and girls, we're going to play tag, and Mr. Gaudet and I are going to be it. <laughs> Did you say tag? Yeah, I better put that out right now. That's not going to work at all. Jesus, five minutes into the game, I look like Frankenstein's stunt double. <laughs> Kids are all like, you can't catch me. I'm like, you're not lying. I was just glad that when I finally went down, they called 911 because a four-year-old's idea of CPR is like, get up. <laughs> Stupid head. Uh, I had a little bit of surgery recently. It's what my daughter refers to as the no baby surgery. Yep. The procedure went well. Um, I felt a little goofy afterwards with that big cone sticking off my head. <laughs> Doc didn't want me chewing at the stitches. I said, yeah, like if I could pull that off, I'd have had the surgery in the first place, sir, Doc. But uh, it wasn't too bad. I had a problem with my insurance because apparently the Larimer County Humane Society is not considered a primary care physician. <laughs> so I'm going to have to check my handbook on that. Uh, I don't know if anybody here has had surgery recently, but um, apparently they have to do this thing where they tell you all the really bad things that can happen to you before you go into the knife. And I, I wasn't impressed, i got to be honest with you. I, um, but they got me when I was busy filling out some last minute paperwork. So what I wind up with, to be honest with you, is some swelling may occur, blah, 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 uh, some bruising, blah, 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 and worst case scenario, you could lose a testicle. I'm sorry, what? Because I can't speak for every man when I say this, just... Yeah, I can speak for every man when I say this. No one ever wants to be involved in a conversation that contains that phrase, ever. Ladies, if you feel that your husband or your boyfriend isn't paying enough attention to what you're saying, just toss that little gem right in the conversation. <laughs> Gee, hon, I could really use some help around the house, and we just don't communicate anymore, and I'd like to spend the holidays at my parents' house this year, and worst case scenario, you could lose a testicle. What? <laughs> Believe me, ladies, the conversation has begun. I was, uh, I was at a friend's house recently. I was watching that UFC. Do you guys watch this? That's great. Apparently it stands for Ultimate Fighter Competition. I thought it stood for Utterly Frigging Crazy. I mean, it's unbelievable. They got guys answering the bell with, like, missing three fingers. He's got one eye gone. He's got, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Lucky Joe Hanrahan. I'm thinking, hot shit, if that's Lucky Joe, I can't wait to see Calamity Dave. But my buddy's really into it, man. You know, this guy climbs in the ring, he goes, oh yeah, this guy here, he's into shoot fighting. I thought, hell yeah, that's my kind of fighting. Ding. <laughs> Block that, Mr. Miyagi. He said, no, no, man, shoot fighting, it's a kind of martial art. I said, no, I get it, I know that. I said, I do track fighting. He said, track fighting? What the hell's track fighting? I said, that's where I just keep running around the ring until the guy gets too tired to beat the shit out of me. Some of you might recognize my fighting stance. My, seriously, man, my introduction would be like, Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate fighter standing to my right, weighing in at approximately 220... Where the hell did he go? Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and uh, he said, um, I'm going to get a dog. I said, cool, man, I like dogs. What kind of dog are you going to get? He said, a Boston Terrier. I said, you're shitting me. He said, no, man, I saw one in the paper for like $400. I said, $400? 
for something that weighs under six pounds, has bug eyes and shakes all damn day? For crying out loud, man, go down to the clinic and pick up a crackhead. Jesus. I, you can get one for like a bologna sandwich. You know, and they'll clean the house for you once in a while, man. I mean, that's what we're looking at. Uh, yeah, you gotta hide your shiny stuff before you go to work, but hey, man, there's responsibilities to pet ownership. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Anyway, folks, that's my time. Thank you so much for yours. Have a good night.